Aloha friends, it's Robert Stelic with Blue Planet Surf. In today's video, I'm going to talk about forecasting tools I like to use. So today is kind of a rainy day. I'm not really inspired to get out on the water. It's kind of onshore wind, uh, light wind, and junky surf. The wind doesn't look good for wing foiling. So I'm going to look at some of the apps I like to use or websites and apps to figure out what's coming up the next few days so I can make some plans and hopefully get in the water. If not today, then another day soon. So uh, first of all, one of the apps I really like to use a lot is the Windy app, which I have on my phone. And I'm going to um, do a little screen share here on the side so you can kind of see what I'm looking at here. So let's have a little look at my, my phone here. So what's really cool is that you can see the whole world basically you can kind of zoom out by um, pinching in or out so you can kind of see the bigger storm systems all around the world looks like there's some pretty heavy storms up uh, around alaska and then the north um, and then there's like a low pressure system um, to the north of hawaii and uh, so a kind of an unusual wind pattern uh, we kind of have a southeasterly wind flow here you can see so the the kind of the colors are on the bottom so if you look on the bottom here you can kind of see the wind speed by color so um, blue means uh, really light wind and then but once you get into a green like a solid green or a yellowish that's a good those are good conditions for wing foiling so and then you can press that little play button to kind of see what's coming up and looks like this afternoon today is kind of not very good for wind it's kind of bluish all around oahu I mean, one of the good things being on an island is that there's a lot of different places you can go to to have like different wind directions and uh, catch different wind speeds and directions. So it's kind of cool to visually see on a map, you know, where the wind is or and what the wind direction is and uh, which spots might be working with that con those conditions. So we're now on Sunday and then coming up on Monday. So let's uh, kind of pause it here on Monday. Uh, at 1400 so that's 2 p.m. looks like the south shore and the west side there's not much wind at all but it looks like you could possibly wing foil like Kailua side of the island kind of on the east side looks like there might be some wind there uh, you know sometimes the wind closer to shore gets blocked too so this is not def definitely not a sure thing but um, if you're really desperate you could try to go out to um, kind of the east side on, in these conditions. And then, you know, as you go further forward, um, the, I don't pay for any of these apps, but then, um, you know, if you want to pay for the premium service, you get like longer range forecasts and so on. So, um, you know, for some people that might be worthwhile. I find like I can usually get enough information from the free versions um, so the windy app I really like it's great you can also look at other features such as um, for example the waves um, you know the swell heights so um, let's look at that swell model go back to today so you can kind of see the wave heights and uh, direction which is pretty cool and then um, you can look at rain and thunder so you know how much rain accumulation there is and what's coming up thunderstorms so the thunderstorms are kind of good to look at to make sure you're not going to be in a thunder uh, lightning storm when you're out in the water uh, looks like that's not too much a risk here when there's thunderstorms there's kind of like these little flashing lightning bolts in the clouds so that looks good uh, you can also look at the satellite picture of the clouds and how they're moving along so um, the this is kind of the past um, also what's helpful is the uh, weather radar if you're wondering um, what the weather is doing so this the uh, weather radar is uh, past past history so this is like from the last hour you can see kind of how the storms are moving along so um, kind of the yellow and red is kind of intense showers so it looks like we're gonna have this whole band this whole band of showers coming in over oahu so it looks like we're gonna have some pretty intense showers today so that's kind of cool good to know so next let's talk about another 
uh, website I like to look at and that's I'm going to do that on my computer because it's a little bit easier to um, see what's going on okay so let's look at my screen here you can just search for windguru.com uh, windguru.cz windguru so um, you know you can search for different spots like this this one also works anywhere in the world um, you know these are the ones I've looked at recently here uh, I like to kind of just look at the Oahu in general, um, but you can also go to specific spots. And there's also like uh, live wind reports and so on. But, you know, what I find most helpful is the forecast, really. So I'm looking here on Friday today, um, the wind direction, these arrows are helpful to see. And then wind gusts, so you, if you just look at the colors, wind speed at the top and then the next one is wind gust so it's kind of like uh, average wind speed is from next week tuesday let's say um, 2 p.m here 17 knots average 26 gusting so that looks like it's pretty windy so like i said like if you um in the right spot with the white right wind direction um there there's probably going to be some good wing foiling next week uh, you know tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday this all looks pretty good, pretty promising. Although the wind direction is a little bit unusual, it's turning a little bit back to northeasterly on this model. So, but what I really find helps is to look at it on wind on windy, where you can kind of visualize the wind direction as compared to the shoreline and the spots at which spots is going to work at and which ones not so much. So, I find that I find this helpful for the long range forecasts, and uh, wind guru seems to be a pretty accurate forecast model. Um, and then, oh, what happened here? Yeah, still, still on that same page. So then there's the um, wave height, which is good to know. Uh, wave height, and then also what's interesting is the wave period. So a longer wave period means um, the waves are a little bit further apart, which means they're cleaner, usually um, more organized surf. If the, when, if the period is very short, that means usually kind of rougher, um, just wind swell that's kind of less organized and not as clean as a, as a bigger swell that's like um, with long periods in between the waves. So, but the wave height and wave period is helpful. And then of course also the wave direction. So this is the primary swell direction. Uh, looks like northeasterly, kind of same direction as the wind. So it's probably generated by that, that wind. So sometimes the, the, if the wind swell and direction are from the same direction uh the wind and the swells are from the same directions and that sometimes means that it's not going to be super clean but um, might be fun anyways for wing foiling and then this is also nice to see here the um, weather conditions cloud cover mid uh, high mid low so it looks like today friday and i have a lot of cloud cover and then precipitation uh this amount of rainfall Looks like we're gonna get drenched. So that was that band that we saw in the weather radar on the Windy app. Looks like that's coming and gonna dump a bunch of rain on us. And then down below is the wind guru rating. So one star is usually wingable, two stars is pretty good. Uh, if there's three stars, wait, where is it? Yeah, there's three stars like on this coming Friday. That means uh, really windy. Sometimes when you're wing filling, you don't really need that much wind. So. Uh, three stars like 20 to 28 knots or 20 to 33 you know if you unless you have a really small wing and you enjoy uh, kind of overpowered wing foiling um, this can be almost too much so a nice range for winging is uh, that I enjoy is like 15 to 20 knots 15 to 25 is like perfect conditions um, you know like 10 knots is pretty light but doable on a bigger wing 10 to 15 knots something like that under 10 knots is uh, usually kind of a struggle. Yeah, so those are the two apps I use the most. There's a few other th places I like to look as well, like Surf News Network is a great place to look at the actual surf conditions and uh, also a forecast of what's coming. And also has like live reporting from the actual locations. And uh, then there's uh, several websites that offer uh, webcams. Uh, Surfline is another good one. And then uh, there's iWindSurf that has like wind meters with actual wind speeds. So those are all really helpful. And then, of course, the best thing is if you have a friend that's driving to the beach that you can call or text and get an update, a live update from the beach itself 
or if you're on a WhatsApp group here on Oahu, we have a WhatsApp wing foiling group where people post the conditions and photos. So getting an actual report, from, live report from someone that's there is probably the best way to know if it's going to be good or not, or just drive there in person and check it out yourself. So yeah, so those are the ways to find good conditions and I uh, hope you found it useful. And I, I wish you all the best in your search for wind and waves and uh, good weather and good surf uh, today, this week, this month, this year. So wishing you all the best and I hope you found this video helpful. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and got something out of it. And make sure to subscribe to the Blue Planet Surf YouTube channel where we come out with a new video every Saturday. So stay tuned and I uh, hope you enjoy the content. Thanks for watching. See you on the water. Uh -huh.